Alaska, the greatest North American frontier. It's a place like no other, where the unspoiled wilderness invites the fortunate to witness the cycle of life of countless creatures, where visitors become a part of nature's canvas, and where all living creatures find their origins somehow intertwined with a fish. The salmon is the DNA of Alaska. Today, I embark on a dream trip into the land inhabited by this great fish. My good friend and colleague, Mike Mazur of Sport Fishing Magazine, joins me in our quest where the biggest challenge we face is avoiding the constant distraction of Alaska's awe-inspiring beauty. We so lucked out with the weather and conditions during our visit to Sitka. The rain stopped and the seas calmed everywhere we went. Captain Scott Miller met us at the dock each morning and amazingly, everything clicked. This guy has some kind of karma. All right, Scott, here we are. Here. Where are we? So this, is, <laughs> this is Cape Eskim off of Sitka Sound. There's a volcano that's hitting the clouds over there, but we're fishing around a reef, and the reef is lava. And basically, so it's a great place for feed to stack up. We have a lot of salmon that comes through here. There's halibut, there's ling cod, there's rockfish. This is a, just a pristine spot for us, but we're gonna try for king salmon right now. Sound good? Yeah. Oh, are the like the plan. Are the fish moving through here? They're are moving they migrating? Through. They're milling about, they're moving, yeah. they're migrating, they're doing a whole combination. This yeah. coastline, the, the Gulf of Alaska is right out here. And so the coastline, there are fish going up and down it. Right. We have rivers that they're coming to in Alaska. They're going right. to rivers down in Washington, Canada, Oregon, California. And basically, we're going to be here to try to catch the ones that are near us. They're ready to play. Our game plan includes trolling these small squid-like lures called hoochies from downriggers with colorful reflective planing boards. We set the lures at different levels in the water column based on the depths at which we see fish marking on our sounder. In addition, we also troll two surface lures since salmon often strike on the surface as well. Unlike most saltwater trolling where you want your lure to swim straight and true, these flashers cause the baits to spin, simulating a wounded bait fish. Alaska anglers also often dose their hoochies with fish oil to release scent in the water. Right there. Nope. All right, guys. You work fast, dude. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's still swimming with you, right? Yeah. yeah. I really. He hasn't felt any pressure yet. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Whoa! That looks like a king. <sighs> yeah, he went down, didn't he? He is straight down, Dean. There's a big surprise in store for us all when we come back. He's up top, look at this. Let me work him in here, guys. Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a giant! Sport Fishing Television is brought to you by Yellowfin, the choice of champions by the new Simrad NSS touchscreen display. By Yeti coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. By Sabeel, innovative fishing. And by Berkeley Gulf Saltwater, outfishes all other bait. Bring her on up, Bubba. 
You got the monster there net? There he is. Whoa! 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 You got a monster. That oh. is a monster. That's a tie. He's up top. Look at this. Let me work him in here, guys. Wow. That is a big fish, guys. That's a beauty. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring him into you. Oh, got him. You get him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see him. Can you can you lift I, him? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, guys. Whoa. Look at that monster. Oh my gosh. He came unhooked. He came unhooked. <laughs> Let's get him. Man, I'm so happy that you <laughs> caught that fish. <laughs> There he is! Oh my God! <laughs> That's a giant! Awesome. Wow! What do you say it weighs? I would say you're looking at you're looking at 40s. Yeah, I'm no so kidding. Good. Yep. That's How much a, bigger they get? These things can get up to 70 pounds, 80 yeah, pounds. Man. I even heard of 90 pounds plus, but typically those are in the rivers. Out here in Alaska, that's a trophy. Wow! Awesome. What a fish, guys! Congratulations, uh, brother. Thank you. That now, was great. Now, you awesome. go into the Thanks, cabin God. and stay there. <laughs> all right, I'm done. You are done. <laughs> the current IGFA all tackle world record king or Chinook salmon is 97 pounds, four ounces. Caught in 1985 on the Kenai River in Alaska. That's northwest of Sitka on the inside of the Kenai Peninsula. Oh, you got a fish, you got a fish. Oh, man. That's it. Whoa, Dean. That's the one. Oh, yeah. I got, oh my I got goodness. A fish on here. If this isn't a big fish, it's the state of Alaska. Whoa. Oh, this is just taking more line than I can imagine. What's going on, Dean? Big fish. You got him? Giant fish. A behemoth. All right, Dean. What's he doing? A stalemate? Oh, he's running. Oh, wow. Oh, he's just dogging you. There we go. How's he feel? Feels huge, whatever it is. <laughs> this could be a quality Slow fish. Slow and gentle. Shaking its head. I think you've got a humdinger king. I hope so. All right. He seems right, to be Dean. calmed down now. I'm going to get ready for you here, buddy. Yeah, I hope you're feeling strong. <laughs> I see him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Look at the size of that. See if you can bring him in here, Dean. I'm coming. Bring him. Bring him. Whoa. Look. Need a hand? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh man. <laughs> now that is wow. a salmon. Wow. Awesome. Christmas. Great fish. <laughs> wow. You're right on. Oh, my gosh. That's as big as I've ever caught. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. That's got to be in the 40s. That's beautiful. It was strip and drag like crazy. Gosh, what a fish. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's geez. a heavy fish. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's, that's 45 or thereabouts. Oh, that was that, that is quite a, quite a slab. Nice job. Oh, you slimy dog, you. Oh, I love it. I love it. Great job, guys. That's a little bit bigger fish. Coming up next, oh, no. it's halibut time. This is going to be a long one. This year, new regulations for Pacific halibut in Alaska were put in place by NOAA Fisheries, and not everyone is happy about it, citing that halibut stocks are declining due to reduced numbers of fish reaching a catchable size range, lower growth rates, and higher than target harvest rates, it's now required that all charter vessels release halibut over 37 inches. This avoids over-harvesting of breeder-sized fish and should eventually lead to much better catch rates for all. With our salmon quota filled, Captain Scott moved us to his favorite halibut spot. 
And this ain't your average commute. We're going to be fishing halibut. Yeah. And so we've got a 32 ounce lead and that's going to get it to the bottom. Right now we're in about 370 feet. This line is 450 pound test. Wow. And it's a braided line. And so it'll hold anything that we want to catch. Sure. This hook is a circle hook. And we'll basically put salmon on that and guts, put it on this hook and send up the water. Oh, there's a bite. to go into the rocks. What does that tell you? Oh my god. That's probably a hell of a oh, That's Lord. a hell of a diet. Oh no. This is gonna be a long one. Alright. Come on, sissy boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that looks more like a halibut. Yep. Like I said, raising a big halibut is like raising a Volkswagen. It's a good analogy. <laughs> Feels like a Volkswagen. The birds are laughing at me. All right. How far down are you? He's still a ways down. He's probably 200 feet out still. Really? 200 feet down, yeah. I hope it's about 40 inches. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? 40, 45, something in there, you know. That would make me feel better. Would it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why would that make you feel better? Because I'm watching you stress and strain <laughs> here. And, and the knowledge that you did all this work and couldn't keep ah, it. Ah, yeah. Uh, it would break, yeah, do your break heart my well, heart. wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, you're doing good, Mike. You're almost Thank there, you. Mike. Hey, we're getting there. We're so yeah, close. Oh, there's some color, guys. There's some color. I see it. Oh, oh my. Oh boy, look at this fish. It's not a, that's not a barn door, but I will say that that is. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. Well, it's the first, first one, one ever I've ever caught. caught. <laughs> <laughs> and gee, I'm so sorry, but that's too big to keep. Wow. That's a little over 37 inches. Oh, gosh. A little. <laughs> Woo. A little. Yeah, you got a, you got a hundred pounder plus. Oh, yeah, wow. I would say so. Golly, Ned. Isn't that gorgeous, uh, though? Let's, uh, let's handle them with care and uh, release them back down. Here, let me hold the rod and you come take a look at it. Okay, sure, sure. Thanks, Dean. Oh, man. What a beautiful fish. Golly. I'll just try to do this quick. Okay. Wow. <laughs> well done, sure brother. It <laughs> that was wonderful. Anyone you walk away from is a success, man. Awesome. Here. Mind if I go fishing Thanks, now? Thanks, yeah. Let's go. Catch one. You needn't worry about a beautiful lure or skilled presentation when bottom fishing for halibut, lingcod, or rockfish. Pile as much bloody guts onto a circle hook as it can hold and send it to the bottom. Raise it up a few turns to keep it out of the rocks and then hang on. Feel free to jig or not. I look forward to having my shot at a halibut. Mike! Son, again! Dude. All right. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, 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 there he yeah. is. Wow, beautiful yellow eye. Oh, wow, wow, look at him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alaskan yellow eye. Oh man, look at him. He's bigger than I thought. Wow, what a beautiful fish. That is gorgeous. Golly, Ned. Look at him. So, Scott, this is one of three species you're typically getting down there the halibut. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah, when we're bottom fishing, we're looking for yellow eye, we're looking for halibut. Yeah. And we're looking for lake. Yeah. We have a real mixture. Yeah. Is he right to pick up? He's not gonna, he's not gonna stick me, is he? Now these, these spines right here, they can, they can hurt you. Yeah. It's a nominal hurt. It'll kind of sting for a while. Yeah. But you can actually take the sting out with bleach. Wow. <laughs> I see why they call me yellow eye. Yeah, that yellow eye is real distinct. Wow. Yeah, they are beautiful, what beautiful, a beautiful, fish. beautiful animal. Right? And again, like so many cold water fish, it is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yellow eye are very slow growing fish, reaching as much as 75 years old. Hooked up. You got one, Dean? Yep. Double header. All right, baby, you're coming home. You're coming home. Oh, my word. That's a ling and a half. Sport Fishing Television has been brought to you by Ex Officio Clothing and Gear, Made to Adventure, by Mercury Marine, by Ala Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world, by King Sailfish Mounts, offering a full selection of world-class release mounts, and by Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor, Swift, Silent, Secure. The quaint seaside town of Sitka is world-renowned for trophy salmon, tackle-busting halibut, lingcod, rockfish, and more. In fact, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game ranks this region the highest for catch rates and total catch for both salmon and halibut. We joined the friendly staff at Kingfisher Charters and Lodge to experience their turnkey, full-service operation, and what an experience it was. After a hearty buffet breakfast each morning, we met up with Scott, one of their many top-notch guides. Within minutes, we were fishing in what can only be described as National Geographic country. The lodge, built on a secluded hillside overlooking snow-capped mountains and the pristine Sitka Sound, was our comfortable home away from home. Spacious living rooms with cozy couches, TV, wireless internet, full kitchens, several guest rooms with private bathrooms, and my favorite feature, the hot tub. Talk about a perfect finish to a day on the chilly water. While you relax and prepare for another gourmet dinner prepared by the resident chef, your daily catch is filleted, vacuum packed, flash frozen, boxed, labeled, and stored in freezers until you're ready for your journey home. If you and yours are searching for that once in a lifetime fishing adventure, consider Kingfisher Charters and Lodge in Sitka. You may go home with sore arms, but I promise it will be worth it. Bottom fishing here requires a bit of a learning curve. The fish have very subtle strikes where they just slurp the bait in but don't really run. To start, yeah? That's not bottom, that is not bottom. Hooked up. You got one, Dean? Yep. Double header. All right. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. This is not huge, but it's big enough. I don't know. 300 feet down is what I believe a halibut. You know, he hit it just like you said. That slow throbbing. We started to bump it, and then it started throbbing. Right. And then we hit him. Uh, well, I always look for his head shape. Yeah. Because this this could be a lane still. Uh huh. I think it's kind of a dead slow. Yeah. Boy. Oh, if this is a lingcod, it's a pretty big one. All right, baby, you're coming home. You're coming home. What a great day. I knew we were having an omen when I saw the whale birds. I figured, hey, they know where the whales are. And sure enough, pod of humpbacks comes by, blowing up steam right next to us. And since there's no current here, we figured it would take a while for this scent trail to set up and we might not even see a fish. Bingo bango. Here we are. Whales, whale birds, beautiful scenery, and a double header. It is a ling. Oh my word. That's a ling and a half. I think I've got a monster ling cod too, a monster. I'm backing up. <sighs> That is spectacular. That's a lot of fish and chips right there. And they have some kind of teeth, too. See ya. Yeah, I've got <laughs> too big, huh? Too big. 
That's too bad. That is too bad. Guys, I've got color here too. I just saw the fish. It looked to be another big ling cod. Whoa, look at him down there. <laughs> Check that wow. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Uh, all right, let me back up. Wow. Look at those teeth. Wow. Boy, are they ugly. You know what, they're ugly, but they're pretty beautiful too. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Good job, Michael. Wow, thanks, Dean. Let him go, huh? Yep. Wow, that was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> That's great. A big thank you goes out to Captain Scott Miller and Seth Bone and the folks at Kingfisher Charters and Lodge. They run a first class operation in one of the most beautiful and bountiful places we have ever visited. Closed captioning has been made possible by King Sailfish Mounts. Alaska is the kind of place where the beauty and diversity of our planet hits you right between the eyes. I can't wait to go back. Be sure to join SFTV next week from world-famous Boca Grande as Mike Mazur and Captain Mark Lieberman bring in the fish and take in the beauty. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa, what I'm talking whoa, about. Whoa, whoa, whoa.